Hello, welcome back to my shop. My name is Patrick. Today a bunch of YouTube woodworkers got together and uh, decided to make a challenge. A 2015 utensil build challenge. Today I made a banana guillotine. If you want to see how I made it, stick around. Well, starting off the project with, boom, a bunch of walnut. Measuring some measurements. Setting the data with my radio alarm saw. This saw is awesome. Cutting a second dado for the tray. Oh yeah, bam, look at that. Boom, two dados. Slicey, slicey right there. Cool. Strip this board an inch and a half here. So we can run some maple strips through the middle of it. Some three eighths inch maple strips. Bam, let's glue these puppies together. Yeah. Fast forward. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Clamp 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 clamp. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Back over the radio alarm saw. Cutting these uh, dados in here for the first attempt to make the guillotine go up and down and stop. Now, slicing the top and smoothing out the edges there. There we go. I'm going to cut the top to size. And I'm going to cut these two to the bottom, the legs. Now I'll make them perfectly even. Bam, sand the top a little bit. Alright, let's glue this thing together. Bam, bam. There we go. Square it up with a square. Let that glue dry for a few. Make some uh, dados and rabbits in the, in the top part. The tray. The radio alarm song kicks ass. Did I say that already? Oh, well, it does. Alright, now I got a sacrificial fence. Clamped to my other fence. Yeah. Try doing this on a table saw. Upside down. <laughs> anyway, though. I'm gonna notch these off of the rails going up and down. And we'll glue these rails in now. A couple pin nails to secure it. Bam. Bam. Alright, this is the new block we glued up. We'll clamp it up, let it dry for a little bit. Make this thing work properly. I was going with this first, with the blade on it, but I made it sloppy in a rush, so it wasn't really heavy enough too. So I made this block. That's got some beef to it. The glue's still drying, but it's good. So this one will slam all the way down. You know what I'm saying? The blade will fit on here nicely, but. When we have the banana under here, we don't want to smash the banana. So, I want to fill in these, 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 these data to put anyway. So I made this quarter inch strip here. And that'll fill in, that'll fill in that gap on both sides. But yeah, I still need a way to stop this from hitting the banana. So, after I get these to fit in there, I'll cut a piece. You glue it right there on the inside as a stop. So when it comes down, it'll stop before it first smashes, smashes the banana. My bowl will go here. My banana will go here. This will go like this. And just slice my banana right into my cereal. Yum yum. Let me finish this up real quick. Alright, I'm going to rip this strip down to fit in those dados that I made. I'll sand them and glue them in. And now I'll glue on the tray, the top part, and I'll use some drills for clamps. Heck yeah, Milwaukee. I'll pre-drill the 
the block for the knife I made and we'll screw it to it as soon as we glue on these little stop blocks oh yeah this is gonna be cool <laughs> A couple little blocks here we go we'll screw this puppy on here Alright, well, glue on the top piece, couple pin nails, and we're done. Well, let's slap some finish on here. Using some more cutting board oil. Well that was a fun build. I really enjoyed making this banana guillotine. It's going to come in handy here around my house. I'm going to use it a lot. Well I hope you get out in your shop and you build something for this kitchen utensil build challenge 2015. It's a blast. We're challenging everybody to get out in their shop and build something cool. And post pictures on Instagram or Facebook with a hashtag utensil2015. There's a list of participants in the description. Go down there and check them all out. They're great YouTube woodworkers. Each one of them involved in this utensil challenge, you should check them out also. Well, that's it for now. I'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm out.